We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole DJ MV Breakfast Club situation. So if you guys do not know, DJ MV is trending all over social media. Charlemagne the God, The Breakfast Club, Old Man Ebro. A bunch of drama went on this morning, okay? So if you guys do not know, Jesus Nice and the Kid Miro, they were on The Breakfast Club this morning. They do a show on Viceland, and they're really funny. They're always on social media tweeting and acting a fool. So this is where all of the drama started with Jesus, Miro, and MV. So I'm going to give you the backstory. So what happened is that last week, basically, DJ Envy and his wife, Gia, or maybe her name is Gia, I always get her name mixed up, but him and his wife went on to the reel, and if you guys remember, a few years ago, he had apologized on air because he was caught cheating on his wife, who's had five of his babies, okay? He cheated on her with Erica Mena. So the real decided to be messy and bring this up. And DJ Envy was talking about how he was able to get his wife back with the help of her best friend and Tyrese the singer. I mean, it was just a really interesting topic. And basically, Jesus and Mero, they were watching it and they were giving commentary like people do all the time on YouTube and on social media. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this snippet of what happened last week and what Jesus and Mero were saying. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Drama that happened happened on the breakfast club so that's why dj envy was in his feelings that's why he was upset and then from there it went on to social media social media had a field day with it and even old man ebro from hot 97 decided to chime in as well You can do this to me? You motherfuckers will be playing basketball in Pelican Bay when I get finished with you. So this is my issue with the entire situation is while I respect DJ Envy for taking up for his wife, for taking up for his family, I understand where he's coming from and I think we don't see that enough in society of men taking up for their wives and for their girlfriends. So while I can respect that, I can also see some hypocrisy in the situation. I don't think Jesus and Meryl said anything that was just too vulgar or too disrespectful. I think at the end of the day, when I watched that clip of them analyzing the reel, I think they were trying to be funny. And there's even the part when he talked about, you know, Gia being there for the check. He still kind of backtracked like, nah, 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 I'm just playing. You know, he still kind of backtracked. So I feel like, you know, DJ Envy playing the tough guy role and going off on them. I feel like it was a bit much and it was definitely hypocritical. I mean, let's keep it real. You know, DJ Envy is on a show called The Breakfast Club where every morning they're dishing dirt. They're dishing gossip about other people's business 24-7. Him, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God, they talk about everything. 
everyone. But it's funny that once the joke is on DJ Envy and people are critiquing him and critiquing his interview and critiquing his situation, then all of a sudden he wants to get, you know, angry and pop off and walk off the set. And to me, that does come off as kind of hypocritical because again, like I've always stated, even on YouTube, you cannot do commentary. You cannot have opinions of everyone under the sun. And then when folks have opinions of you, you get in your feelings, you get upset, you get mad, you want to start flagging videos and doing all types of extra shit. It can't work that way. If you're going to be able to dish it, then you have to be able to take it. And I don't think that anything that Jesus or Merrill said in that video was just super, super disrespectful. If anything, they were just trying to be funny. You know what I'm saying? But DJ Envy was not here for the foolishness, honey, okay? And when I tell you, neither was social media. Folks drug him behind this interview. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. So like I said, with this whole situation, I can see both parts. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that DJ Envy stuck up for his wife and his family, but he also is involved on a show that deals with gossip and trending topics. They talk about people's divorces, affairs, and all types of messy situations. So for him to get upset that another show is doing it to him and critiquing him and his wife, it comes off as kind of, you know, hypocritical, in my personal opinion. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion Pop in, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Are you team DJ Envy? Do you agree with everything he had to say? Or are you team Jesus and Meryl? And do you feel like DJ Envy, you know, was just being too sensitive? He took it too far. He needs to understand that they were just joking with him and that it wasn't that serious. And the fact that he's also on a platform that does the same thing to other people and makes everything come off as hypocritical. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.